Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Player One. My name is Nick Weasel Frymet. I am your host for this evening's show, and this evening we are here for Start to Finish. That is right, Start to Finish is our weekly Monday show where we play a role-playing game from start to finish. And this season we are playing Valkyria Chronicles, the Sega-made uh, role-playing game from 2008 on the PlayStation 3, and then they decided to re-release it only recently, uh, end of last year, on the PC, and that is what we are playing right now, and it still looks fantastic. Uh, so... Before we get into things, I'd like to first of all mention uh, that this here, this here is because of you guys. This here is from the community. I decided to wear it today because it looks gaudy and awesome. It is a gold medal, and it is for raising $1,000 during the 2014 uh, Extra Life charity stream, 24-hour charity stream that we did. Now, we are doing another one this year. We were going to have more information going up on the website soon. You can already see some information on, <clears throat> excuse me, player1.tv slash charity, uh, but we are going to be adding more to that soon, including a, a link to be able to donate, which actually I think that's up if you want to do it ahead of time, because um, we've got some awesome things that we are going to be doing. But that's all coming in the future. Uh, for now, we've got a game to play, so we're going to do that. So I have my trusty DualShock 4 controller here, and I am prepared to get ourselves into a game. Last time, when we left off... Now, of course, I have to make sure that I can find the game. Uh, when we left off, last time on Start to Finish, I wish I had a video that I could play that maybe kind of showed what happened last time on Player One. Uh, last time, we were in the middle of an operation in the desert. Sick. And the last thing that happened, by the way, was the most amazing shot by one of the Lancers getting the back of a tank. Actually, no, sorry, it was with my tank, actually. Um, and it was fantastic and super cool, and I was really proud of it. So, we need to finish this battle in the desert, and that is what we are going to do. Uh, and boy, we are right in the thick of things. Uh... So, in case you've forgotten, uh, Alicia almost got sniped to death. Ted here, he needs to do some things. So first of all, one thing at a time, you need to heal Alicia. Because <clears throat> Alicia, well that didn't heal as much as I was hoping it would. Alicia has some work to do. Um, so, Alicia is going to do that. You know, as long as the sandstorm stays, he should be fine. But what Alicia is going to do is go uh, run around and try to kill our special character over here that showed themselves. Enemy unit spotted. Awesome. Malia the Dust, no! who is now Dust. <laughs> uh, I assume that will give me some special uh, bonuses to uh, my money at the end of this, uh, I assume. But, hey, just wanted to do that, get that out of the way. Uh, now, also, as you can see, I still can't really... With the sandstorm here, it's very difficult to see my opponents, which is not... Ah. And I'm trying to go around this trench here, so that I can get running towards... Because what I could do here, and what I am going to do, I'm going to try and knock down one of these barriers, or two of them maybe, just because... Oh, I hit a guy instead. Because sure... Chances of that are what in what. Uh, so the other thing is what I, there are no more tanks, and I can't really snipe any. Well, I might be able to snipe that one guy. So I almost just keep running my tank up there and try to get this done in fewer turns. Enemy sighted. 
by mortaring them. Because this will probably kill the both of them, maybe? In fact, it did. Oh, that actually could be the end, then. Because now I'm just going to go grab Alicia again and say, Hey, Alicia, I need you to... Or actually, no, you know what? I'll grab Ted. Ted, I need you to just run and take this base. Just don't worry about it. Just do it. Because no one's really going to stop you. There ain't nobody here no more. Well, that was an anticlimactic way to start an episode. Hey, guys, beginning of the episode... Oh, I've, I've won. Operation complete. We took their base. We sure did. <clears throat> I was afraid it was going to be like... Oh, by the way, you get a D-rank because you, you took so many turns. And I kind of, like, answer, but how could I have done it in less? Uh, so, the enemy leaders are the red guys. The enemy ace is that one guy I went over there and killed. So, by killing him, I got 600 extra everything, which is totally worth it. And then killed a whole bunch of tanks. Mmm. Oh, and for killing the special guy, I got a special sniper rifle? Really? Well, that's kind of cool. All right, let's uh, let's watch some story then. That be the case. <laughs> huh? What's this supposed to be anyway? What a weird place for something like this. <laughs> it's it's a building. There you all are. Hi, Faldio. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here, too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins' interior. And you couldn't have helped us fight? The shape of it really is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. Where could it have been? That's not useful. This building <clears throat> was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Bakura themselves. So they actually existed then? Yes. The Bakura make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Hmm. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Then one day, their history just ends. The Bakura just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. <laughs> okay. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. That sounds like an awesome ship that I hope we get in this game. A Dread Nautilus? What's that? You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. Mm. They live inside pointy spiral ships. No, that wasn't what I was thinking. And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. God, I would love a ship to be called Dread Nautilus. Well, can you can be such a... What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. All right, sir. Please be careful. Yes, ma'am. We'll try our best. No promises. All right, now let's go inside the temple and see what's in there. Tell me, Silvaria, do these walls offer an answer to our search? Wow, this cavern is very echoey. I pray, where sleeps the ancient power? Hey, look, magic anime Read, child. stuff. Valkov, the Holy Lance, Scorcher of the Vast Earth, a sleep eternal in the bosom of Ranbrees. Well. Made pillar of its keeper's keep, kept thereby for eon without end. Then it's true. The sacred lance lies buried within Ranbrees' walls. 
But your grace, how do you intend to control the lens once it is found? This chamber! Man, I wish we were not talking in such an echo. <laughs> Worry not. A beast fit to bear that burden will soon be at our disposal. Power. I do like the effect, though, that they're actually making it not seem like they're just sitting in a in a recording studio, just... With this, our dream is yeah. made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of Europa. Europa. Alright, there you go. Chapter 7. The Battle at Barius. The Battle at Barius. Alright, so let us... Nope, not options. What am I doing? Let's head back to the headquarters before we move on to, you know, do our, uh, stuff. So first of all, I might actually need to actually go to the squad barracks for once here. So, yeah, you don't have anything else that you can get. So, that weapon that I got, is that literally just... Oh, jeez. Does more damage, but drops aim and range to nothing. And I can literally only put that on one person? Hmm. That is, uh... Yeah, that does the same thing. Drops range to naught, but takes damage up by a whole bunch. I just don't like the idea of that. I also don't like... I mean, I, I get it, but it sucks that... Because then I have to remember that that character has that weapon if I want to keep using them. Which is why, back in the day, I remember writing down... Oh, here's all the people that I wanted to... Hello, you know... Here to fine-tune your squad. Oh, and there have been some new... Here's all the people that I, I need to bring in. Um, whoops. Meadowbred, good buddy, bug in a rug. Well, those are all positive. So, okay. If I wanted to replace someone with you, who would I replace? Um... Hermes, you would be one. Nope, that's two positives. That's two positives. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Hermes, it looks like you are, uh, you're going to go. Sorry, duder. See you later, boss. And sorry if all the ladies leave now that I'm gone. And sorry if all the ladies leave now that I'm gone. You sound just like me. Oh, God, no. Um. I'm Nancy Dufour. It's so good to meet you. Hello, Nancy Dufour. Thank you. Frisia, you are, ooh. You also have two positives that I cannot deny. Uh, but who would I remove to do that? And so the other thing I'm not doing is there's a lot of the, there's the likes where, oh, this guy likes Zaka and Nadine. So if I had those people near him, he'd probably, I assume, do better. But it's like that gets really complicated and having to remember all of that is just not going to happen. Um, so, yeah. Um, no, you know, Wavy, you might be the one to go, actually. You've taught me quite a lot, sir. If I can be of service again, don't hesitate to ask. And that's the thing, is that you can, I can, I can, I can bring him back anytime I want. I'm Frisia York, handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. Oh dear. Mm, I'm gonna like you and my squad. What? No. Uh, yeah, alright. So there you go. I just ha I have two new people now. And that's why you keep coming back here. Just in case. Come back anytime you need to change. Uh huh. Next to the training field. Welcome to 
Train. Yep, it's always my worst nightmare. Train. Yep. So I might as well uh, pop up my guys to level five, and then I don't have enough for anyone else, so that works. I got no use for tears. Sweat. I am. I am. Good work, maggots! Yep, still one clo level closer to humans. Okay, you burn clearance! Oh, okay, another new order. This order raises one ally's accuracy. I mean, I get it, but when am I ever gonna waste a command point Come back. for a single... You know what I mean? For a single order for a single person to be a little bit better. It just doesn't make sense to me. But, you know. Hey, drop it. Oh, and how about the... Yup. couldn't help but snipe. Okay, we talked about this before. Ooh, here we go. Central Galleon Command reported on the 15th that the militia had encountered and routed a contingent of Imperials stationed in Barius, the culmination of a clandestine investigation into reported Imperial activity in the area. The Badlands' topography is poorly suited to combat maneuvers and the region holds little to no strategic value, making the Empire's goal there unclear. One theory suggests that the desert region is home to an as-yet unmined load, and that Imperial forces were stationed there for the purpose of Ragnite speculation. Gallia Federation talks begin. During a press session on the 10th, Galleon Prime Minister Borg, Galleon Prime Minister Borg, called for talks with Federation Ambassador Townshed, slated to visit Gallia at the end of the month. In light of the increasingly complex conflict between the Federation and Empire, however, many suspect the Federation views this as a chance to acquire Gallia for its resources. This announcement has been met with vehement opposition from members of the Parliament with strong ties with the former Imperial cartels. Ambassador Townshed responded to the invite in a public address, stating that he firmly believes that joining hands to thwart the Empire's hubristic ambitions is essential to assuring peace for Europa. There you go. News. Da, 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 da. I've got new material. Okay. Sure, Largo's passion, done. <laughs> Thanks a million. There you go. Come back and see the rock. So now maybe she'll have a story on Largo sometime. Now let's go to R and D. Welkin bro! Welkin bro! Okay, let's develop some weapons. I know you've probably got something new. You sure do. Oh boy. What else do we got here? Mmm. I, you know, honestly, I'm always a fan of doing armor first. Awesome. Because I'm always worried about keeping my guys protected. Unfortunately, this is probably going to put me below the amount of money for anything else, isn't it? Oh no, I can do one of them. I could either do for my rifles, which is probably what I'm going to want to do, even though my sniper rifles are something that I really should be upgrading too. I just don't have the money right now. So, uh, I would rather, because I like the, uh, Since I like the scouts so much, and they seem to be all around good to me, you know. Alright, a whole bunch of stuff updated, so let us save. And move on with some storyline, so that we can get to the next operation. Ping! Wow, we're back inside the thing again. Amazing, isn't it? I was surprised when I first came here too. Also, we're still in the desert, this means. There aren't any windows or skylights in here, but it's still so light. The ruins are made of stone with a high ragnite concentration. It lights itself. It's uncanny. Look at this. Something's written on the wall here. There's writing on the wall. Old Northern? It was the dominant writing system in Europa. You still see it on a lot of old monuments. Do you know how to read it, Faldio? Yeah, we just covered it this last year. Let's take a look. Oh dear, that's a camera angle. It's more or less a recounting of the Darkson Calamity as the history book 
things tell it. The Darksons unlocked some secret property of Ragnite and tried to conquer the continent. Well, that seems... A hundred cities raised its fell light, ten hundred thousand men and beasts therewith. Ooh. It says this area used to be one of the cities lost in that purge as well. So they did use Ragnite. It was in the middle of that destruction that the Valkyrie suddenly came into the picture. The Valkyrie. Supposedly they rose to face the Darksons, armed with sacred lances, blue with flame. That became the War of the Valkyrie. The War of the Valkyrie. I had a picture book about that as a girl. But it's fiction, right? Like a fairy tale. A lot of fairy tale has facts mixed in. Ruins like these dot the Europan man. Traces of the culture that once ruled the continent. The majority of the anthropological community now agrees that the Valkyrie did exist. The Valkyrie did exist. Wow, this is so educational. We're in the middle of a war, but you know, the might as well learn some stuff. And rose to power, while the Darksons were scattered across Europa. There are some who worship the Valkyrie as the saviors of Europa even today. Meanwhile. The Darksons got branded with the stigma of their past, and were persecuted. With no land of their own, they had to work as itinerant laborers and ragnite miners. That seems unfortunate. Which is why there are so many Darksons still working in the industrial sector today. I never knew that. Come to think of it, Isara's dad was an engineer, wasn't he? Anyway, that's enough history for today. <laughs> Keep checking for Imperial track. Anyway, we've talked a whole bunch here, and there's probably enemies inside this area even as we speak, so you know we should probably just move on. Possibly. So that's what we'll do. More gritty. I've been looking, but I still ain't seen nothing but sand. You're in a desert. Those imps got some strange tastes if they're sunning themselves out here. Hey, where else are you going to sun yourself? <clears throat> What's got you, Rosie? It ain't like you to be so quiet. You got the runs or something. Yeah. You're foul, Largo. And I'm just annoyed. <clears throat> Scene change. Takes some kind of brass to blow up a chunk of turf this big, don't you think? Looks like the dark hairs have been bad news for the rest of us folks since day one. What do you mean by that? <sighs> what do you think I mean? No archaeological proof exists to support the theory that Darksons destroyed Barius. Look around! How much more proof do you need? And it's an unfair generalization to assume that all Darksons cause trouble for others. There's some racism going on here. You saying you don't? Look, it's cause of you people that I, that my whole... Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. time out you two. Whoa. Largo, you have a very sad face. You stay out of this, Largo. We're on patrol here. You keep squawking and we're likely to get sniped. <laughs> you too, kid. You know Rosie's got a temper on her. She wouldn't go off if you didn't talk back. I don't believe anything I've said is untrue. <sighs> Stubborn as mules, both of you. I like how Largo has somehow become the mediator between this. Like, that makes sense. Even though Largo was with Rosie earlier. I mean, hey, that's a good thing. He's coming around. Potentially. Faldio, what is that? It's called the Valkyrian Spiral. Valkyrian Spiral. Okay, so what is it? <laughs> it's the Valkyrian Spiral, I just told you. I was talking about their power before, remember? The sacred blue flame? Yes, you were. The spiral motif on their relief carvings are said to represent inexhaustible power. I would like that. Oh, I didn't know that. Still, we haven't seen any Imperials here. Not even any signs of entry. I can 
guess it's possible that this wasn't what brought the Empire out here. <coughs> well, the others are waiting. Let's go back. Sure, let's go. Huh? What in the... Alicia, what just happened? I, I don't know. I barely even touched it and this door just opened. Uh-huh. Looks like it keeps going. It's a door. An underground chamber in the Barrios ruins. This is a huge discovery. It's amazing what you could do if you actually, you know, walked up to something instead of just kind of looking at it and go, well, it's a spiral. Should we go in? Do you have to ask? Alright, let's take a look. Sure, alright. <coughs> Sounds good to me. A new episode has been added. Ooh. What is this place? It seems like it goes on forever. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, wow. I'll walk in. Look at this wall. Well, see you guys. Amazing. There are engravings everywhere. What do they say, Faldio? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you they're too ancient for me to decipher. Oh, mm, let's stand that close to the edge. Who's there? No one. Oh. Well, how surprising to find you here. We don't get many visitors. I won't ask how you were able to break in. It's not really important. But you defile this sanctum with your presence. Oh, uh, guys. That's Maximilian. Sure, let's take on the enemy commander. I'm sure that after the first time meeting him, this will probably go swimmingly. That said, guess what, guys? It's time for another operation. Let me catch you up on the current situation. I think you need to be caught up on the current situation. We kind of went into this without even considering what you were thinking here. The enemy commander, Maximilian, is making for our base camp aboard a massive tank. It is imperative that you stop him before he reaches us. Whoa. Your objective is the destruction of that giant tank. It is equipped with machine guns on both sides, so brace yourself for a merciless reception as you approach. Keep your distance when possible and use your tank and lancers to take, out, take those machine guns out one by one. It also has large caliber cannons at both fore and aft that can't be destroyed. Their range is as you see here. They will fire at anything that stops in the range depicted. Keep your tanky troops clear of them if you want to live. Oh, 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 the giant enemy, okay. Hmm, okay, uh, hmm. 
Well, let's start with um, something like, uh, yeah, Nadine, you should be here. Uh, 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 back here, I'm gonna have, um, ooh, ammo worries? When did you get that? That's not good. I don't like how some of them get more bad things. That really is not good. Um, I'm still taking you out. You there. Okay. Uh, Alicia, I obviously need you in this. I'll put you there. Largo, you need to be in this. Obviously, Rosie needs to be in this because reasons. And then I need to get a whole bunch more of... Well, I could just bring them all. Alright. And I hope to God that I do not need other people in this. Because if I do, I am so screwed. You know what? No. You know what? Sure. All right. Why not? You'll commence combat now. Stay sharp out there. Yes, ma'am. That tank is our target. We have to stop it. Squad Seven, move out. Wow. All right. Wait. <laughs> now, dear Gallons, flee or be crushed underfoot of the Batamus. Batamus! Your Grace, I will eliminate the forces east of the temple, then return to provide support. Very well. Though I doubt I shall require your assistance. Batamis shall rest atop their ribbon camp before long. Welkin, take a look at that tank! Holy... With armor like that, I don't figure my anti-tank lance will do much good. Don't say that! I need you all I've got! And I don't like the look of that cannon. Standing in front of that thing is a bad idea. Let's watch and wait for now. It has to have some kind of weak point. Okay. I just want to make comment on how big this thing looks. Like, that's no small tank. Uh, and I... Oh, God. I'm already at a loss for what the hell I should be doing. Other than I see that sniper up there, and I kind of need to take him out. Oh, boy. That tank is coming this way. That is a big ass tank. Where's that sniper? Where's that sniper? Don't get spooked, soldiers. Follow me. Where's the sniper? No, no. Left bumper. Check your ammunition stores. How come I don't see him? They're headed that way. Please follow. Oh, he's back there? Oh, okay. Unnecessary risks out there, soldiers. Move out. Wait, right where? Oh, he's hidden. Son of a gun, I shouldn't have used my sniper first then. Damn it. Well, oh well. I still try to take out someone, right? Take out a Lancer, or I could take out a uh, Scout, Shock Trooper. Shot your rink and do nothing for now. You, however, will. Alright. I'm not done yet. No, no. You're done for now. I don't want you doing anything else. That is a big ass tank. Uh I should have put my lancers up here. If I was smart. Wait here. But I didn't think of it. And hence, I didn't. Oh, wait. Come back here. 
Takes three shots just to kill one of the turrets. Holy Jesus. You're done. And it does require that I hit it to be effective. Ugh. Boy. To say mistakes were made would be uh, potentially an understatement here. Is that Sniper, is he even in view here? Because I'm more worried about him than anything. No, he isn't. Well, crap. 16 hits? I can't get 16 hits in. What if I were to run closer? Oh yeah, that works. Can I get lucky? The answer is no, I can't. Oh, balls! I realize that I am in more trouble than I first expected. Well, that is a big tank. Um, alright. How about, how about you? You want to actually hit that turret? Here I come! Yes, you do. And then how about you uh, get behind this so that, you know... Next! I'll take care of you should take care of it. Alright, how about another hit? Yeah. Nope, see, you missed. That's, that's not gonna do it. Next. Sure. Die for me, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot how amusing Jan is. Uh, and now I need to do. Do you need to get behind cover, or you need to? I don't know what I need to do with you. I need to. Here's what I need to do with you. Oops. Take a good look at your surroundings. Well, there's a guy around the corner there. Oh, no, wait, no, no, that's the wall. Well, no matter. Uh, tank? Entering combat. Yeah, you are. I mean, I don't really want to put you right in front of this tank, but at the same time, I just, I need you to, like, I think I'm just gonna... Okay, here we go. Now. Nope, you missed. And now I'm just gonna, you know... Beep! 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 Please stop that tank from breaking through! Yep, don't mind me. I'm just... Getting out of the way of the tank, that's all. Uh, and now I'm going to just... Run, hide. Holy gods. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Boy. That is, uh, not cool at all. Also, you're just gonna have free reign to shoot at people. That's also not cool. Yeah, I don't like that. Alright, you didn't get far enough to shoot anyone. Works for me. I mean, you know, whatever, man, bro, dude, die. Uh, you, however, are gonna shoot at. You're going on a field trip. You just got shot and killed by Rosie. Well, that couldn't have been any... <laughs> worked out any better for me. Who are you going to shoot at is what I'm more worried about. What? Wow, I was about to say, if you make that shot... I call... I call bull... 
shit. Okay, all right, so you, okay. But it takes a command point every time one of the turrets wants to attack. That's good news, at least. Please get shot and killed just like your friend did. Oh, no, you're gonna get down in a trench, okay. Okay. I think I want to start by getting you the hell out of there. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, she's. Oh. Wah! Ah! Humans can't bend that way! Ah! You got it, hon! That was really unpleasant. Not gonna lie, that was really unpleasant. Die for me, sweetie! Okay, that's one down. Now, fight like a mismatic. You said two things at once. Please stay strong. I'm on my way. Please, honey, you gotta help. <laughs> uh, I need you to um get into cover again. Yeah. See, it doesn't matter that I'm in the same trench as that guy. For now. Uh, now is the time where I wish my oh, people are on the wrong sides. Crap. You, however, oh no, sorry, that you're the wall. Okay, where's that stupid sniper gone? There he is. And now, Mr. Sniper friend. You are going to die. Mwah. <clears throat> Next, we go back to uh, all the very best. Do we go to the people? Oh, sh crap! I didn't think about that. Okay. We need to do some quick action ending here. I'm on my way. I promise I need to use him again. Nope! Stop that! Okay, now he needs to get back under cover. Okay. And then I need to bring out Yoko to finish off that one. Okay. I'm impressed, but not surprised. I'm impressed, but not surprised. And this is how insane this battle is, apparently. Okay. And again, I have these guys hanging out over here, and they're not going to be of any use where they are right now. No. You I do not like. Let's do this. Alicia, I respect you a lot. It's not really helping that much. That said, I'm just gonna keep Largoing it up here. Yeah. God, I wish you could do damage, Alicia. I don't lie. I have one more, one more shot with him, so I might as well use it. Okay, all right, okay. I mean, this could be worse. I'm not gonna lie. Now, my tank... I have a feeling he needs to get the heck out of the way. Here we go! So, what can I do? I have a feeling I can't actually get through that small space. 
So here's what we're gonna do. You can't let them provoke you. Nope. No, no. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Thank you. Move out. Gotta love nature. Nate. About that. Missing your nature here. Uh, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can kill a guy. Fire! What were you aiming at? And then I'm just gonna back the heck up because I have a feeling he's gonna come rumbling through about right now. You guys are just shooting futility here. Uh, oh, that thing just destroyed my base. <laughs> Capturing a camp is for the feeble. <laughs> Needless bother when it can be crushed outright. He's just gonna mow our camps down. Keep your head, Lieutenant. That desert is covered by parts of standing ruins. If you show unstable walls, fragments may fall and block the enemy's tank progress. Oh. Roger that. I'll give it a try. I see. The team east of the temple is in bad shape. Some woman is sending up some major fireworks. At this rate, they'll be forced to withdraw. I understand. We'll try to hold our ground here. All right. Let's slow that behemoth down with as much rubble as we can throw in front of it. So that's what the walls are used for. Listen, yeah, yeah. The sandy remnants of ruins that still dot the desert can be knocked over by a mortar or anti-tank lance blast. With a few rods, while well, a few rods cannot, oh, they can at least slow it down. If a tank or the banana stands in the location a wall would fall upon, that wall cannot be knocked over. Act fast. I get it. So that's that's what I need to do to try to save myself. Ha! Ah! Ooh, that was not good. Jan could be in trouble here. Oh no. Oh no. I also forgot that I'm one down. I forgot that I've already lost one, so I need to call someone from a camp. Also, seriously? Okay, all right. Yeah, I just, I don't know what to, I honestly literally have no idea what to do. Are you gonna walk past as well? Cause that'd be really freaking funny. Oh, I swear to God, if you take my base. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, this is gone poorly. Once again, I don't have people where I need them to be right now. Uh... <sighs> wow. Um... Uh... Come on. I'm... I'm... I, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you're still too far away. Yeah, fine. No, I'll take some hits for this. That's fine. All I need to do is get four and you're dead. There's four. There's five even. Or counted. Rosie, I need you to recapture this thing. Not like it's gonna matter very long. The tank's probably just gonna roll through it anyway. That said, don't care. Oh, I didn't make it to the... <clears throat> I didn't make it to get down. Uh, he's gonna be a problem. 
we go. Cause I need to, uh, I need to throw some wall in his way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay, one shot does it. What is that giant thing? That's helpful. That said. I wish you good luck. No, oh, crap. No, no, come on. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> I may have put my tank in a very bad place. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Uh, hmm. No, stop that. But I gotta do what I gotta do here. Yeah, you can keep trying to do a little bit of damage to me. I'm just gonna keep hitting you with my thing here and hoping that I'll take I can take another one out. Okay. Another one bites the dust. Oh dear me. Um like two turrets left. Okay, Largo. Do you have a good shot on this one? You do. Okay, here we go again. Except you don't have any ammo. Luckily, good news! I have a... I have to use all of the rest of my... Holy Jesus Christ! As she almost dies. But that was my fault. I did that. Well, I should be able to take out that last one. Uh, and then watch another turn and get very scared at what happens next. Boom. You missed? You missed? No, I don't want him to crank this. What happens if I say no? Yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot believe you missed. You needed to make that shot. Oh god. Um? That main cannon is lethal. There must be a way to stop that thing. Wilkes, look at that. What are those? They're sticking up out of the top of the tank. They're radiators. Heat sinks for dissipating the temperature of the Ragnite fuel cell. They must be using them to cool the cannon after firing it. Lux, if we destroy them, it could greatly upset the tank's function and stability. Alright. Alright, let's try it. We just need to get to those radiators after the cannon fires. They're positioned atop the tank, so ground units will need to climb the ladders. Okay, we've got to take out the guns and get troops onto that tank. Well, it would have been great if one of my guys had to destroy, had successfully dis well, that worked, I guess. Had successfully had destroyed the uh, the turret, because then he would have been able to go run up there and go do something about it. Oh crap! Swear to God. Oh crap.
I'm not sure if it's because I'm I'm bad or if because this is a challenge, but I tell you what. This is uh not going in my favor. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Wow, you went right around the stuff here. That's kind of funny. Climb. The problem is I can't have you attack or anything because you've already used your move. But that being said, I want you to just hang out here for a sec. Can I have you hang out up there? Seriously? Great. Well, guess what then? You got some ammo. You're going to use it. Oh, God. The radius had even more. I should have actually had you get down now that I think about it. Oh, well. Um... Boy, okay, so there's the turret on the back, which will be a problem, but at the same time, I'll take care. you know what? I'm going to have one person get up there. We aren't sure if and take out this one. Here goes. Or at least start working on it. You've only got one ammo as well, but <clears throat> gotta do what I gotta do for now. Um, I'm on my way. You, however, I want you to start working on that back turret if you can. Hmm, that's really not a good shot, I must admit. You have three ammo to use. Oh, we're gonna use them then. Actually, I'm gonna get you closer. Oh, till start shooting at you. Okay, now back up. All right. Stay here, literally in the middle of the open. I'm on my way. Okay, so I might have you keep shooting at it. Oh, please get this last shot. You would make me such a happy man. I might actually be pulling this off in the end. I'm on my way. And hit it, you son of a... Mm, God, I hate you so much right now. So very... Very much. Okay. Well, the tank hasn't moved much. So... I'm gonna move... No, I know. I know I can't. Can I... Ugh. So that's their commander. Oh, crap. Did I just take out that wall? Shit. No unnecessary risks out there, soldiers. That's exactly what I didn't want to do, is take out... one of the walls that was preventing them from hitting us. Oh no no, I'm sorry. He actually attacked he actually attacked that last turn. That's why my guys are up there right now. Um so let me guess. No one has any ammo. Nope, everyone is out of ammo. Except for Jan. Who you know what? We're gonna get you involved in this because at this point. Everyone's gotta do something here. As long as no one's up here, I'm going to be up here. Jan, please. Yeah. Yes. I believe in you, Jan. I really did. Um, that being said, I really should get another engineer out here because... Uh, desert bread, yeah. Because I need someone who has the ability to get more ammo to people. Oh, so it does, it just launches them off and closes the things after he shoots. Great. That doesn't give me a lot of time to do this. Hmm. Hmm. 
Except for the fact that he hasn't done anything. Okay. So here is what we are going to do. Because I think I literally have every one of my guys out there. Um, I have to figure out what's next. So. Those two ruin walls are the only two left, right? This one's technically in the way. Yes, it is. All right. Well, first of all, I need you to get in some cover. Uh, and actually, you know what? We have actually come to time here. So because of that, we're gonna we're gonna end in another cliffhanger. This time with a tank and and with. Him, the tank being not necessarily dead, but you know, d d doing, doing not so great. So that, my friends, has been an episode of Start to Finish. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of awesome stuff coming uh, for the rest of this week. So if you want to see more Start to Finish, uh, definitely come back and join us next Monday. We will have another episode of that. Uh, if you want to see, maybe you want to see some Dark Souls 2, you can join us tomorrow for Mistakes Were Made. Maybe you want to play some uh, Track Mania with us. You can do that Wednesday on Distracted Driving. Maybe you like Minecraft. You can watch that with Vanilla on Thursday. Maybe you like uh, weird games and alcohol. I have no promises if they are mutually exclusive or not, but you know, then you can join us on Friday for that. And that is about all I've got for you. Um, we've had a great time here today. Again, my name is uh, Nick Weasel Freiman. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you here again later. Good night, everybody. <laughs>